Thanks very much. So I was asked to give a presentation on the role of the foundation, and I thought I needed to give you a little bit of context. Um, many of you in this room will have engaged with different people at the foundation um, as we are uh, engaging with you with the, the, the global scenario. This is the way that we're organized, um, and we call it an integrated um, uh, cholera uh, plan, but you can see that we've got representatives from the Global Development Division, which includes the emergency group and also vaccine delivery. Tina Lawrenson is here, who many of you will know and have engaged with. <clears throat> in the Enteric and Diarrheal Disease team, it's Megan Carey and myself. And in the Program Advocacy and Communications, Amber Zaidis is here. Um, and, and again, many of you will have engaged with her. I've included the water sanitation and hygiene in the sense that we are in constant communication with them, we share our strategies with them and so on. But any of you who've worked closely with the foundation know that from the enteric diarrheal disease team, uh, focus on WASH is not uh, a priority. We engage with them, they have their own strategy which is around fecal sludge management. Um, and they engage, of course, with many of the other partners in this. But it's just important, I think, to understand that the pre presentation today and the focus that you have engaged with as a, as a global community is on vaccine uh, development. <clears throat> I thought it would be interesting to present to you this slide, which really looks at, we have, uh, we set ourselves five-year goals. And so these goals were set in 2013 basically came to fruition in 2018, so we started last year to develop a new five set of uh, goals for a new um, five-year time frame. <clears throat> Similar to our colleagues from UNICEF, you know that we engage and do the work that is being done in this through partners, and many of you in this room are responsible for the accomplishments here of the goals of the Foundation Enteric and Diarrheal Disease Team over the last five years, including better understanding of epidemiology, including the development and tech transfer of oral cholera vaccines to multiple manufacturers, um, including the revitalization and support for the Global Task Force and the work that Dominique's done. Um, and I, Dominique, I would just like to say, I think on behalf of all of us, but certainly from the foundation, how much we appreciate your energy, your efforts, and the fact that you've got a room here of over 100 people. Countries, ministries of health, I think is a, is a real credit to the work you've done. Um, so there's a lot of work that's been done, um, but then really <clears throat> at the foundation, we spend a lot of time thinking strategically, and we started this process last year. We had it approved uh, in principle by the co-chairs in February of this year, and this is really then the landscape of the goals and ambitions and focus of the enteric and diarrheal disease team um, at the foundation with the funding that we have available, which as I pointed out earlier does not include um, funding towards WASH interventions. <clears throat> you can see by the three this slide is meant to present two things. One is we've, we have a framework that we use when we're trying to think through strategy. It's then a matter of calling in as much evidence as many experts and so on to inform our processes and then sitting down and working out where the added value of the foundation is compared to um, other partners. <clears throat> where we've come in and where we believe our priorities um, are these three boxes with a little red arrow. Um, and basically that means understanding more around the epidemiology and particularly in geomapping some of the hotspots for targeted interventions, increasing supply um, of the vaccine, which we heard yesterday is a, a real problem um, and we, need to we felt that we need to address that head on, and then continued support to the Global Task Force for the work that they've done, but to keep the country momentum um, going. And again, just making the point that, of course, this is our framework, this is our strategy where we're going to prioritize our investments, but those investments are through partners in this room. So this is, um, you saw similar slides yesterday. 
This was a considerable part of the discussion that we had internally, um, and the bottom line is we recognize as a community there is, there's more country demand than there are vaccine supply. And so an outcome of our strategic prioritization exercise was that the added value that we have as a foundation is to address that head on, and we will be making investments. We've already started some of those with our partners, for instance, IVI, um, working with U Biologics and possibly Shanta to increase supply of the vaccine. And that's going to be a major investment from our perspective. But then just running through those other three boxes, one is we will continue to um, support efforts to understand the epidemiology and particularly to try and help us identify focused areas where we can have targeted immunization programs. And of course, we recognize that water and sanitation programs need to go along with those. We'll be, we will integrate and coordinate with WASH efforts wherever we can. But unfortunately, the focus from our team has to be on the cholera vaccine uh, programs. And of course, we've got multiple partners here. I've probably left many out, but um, those are some of the key partners we're working with. In addition to uh, really addressing the, va the vaccine uh, supply issue head on, there will be investments, and we do feel it's important to understand additional um, aspects around optimizing those market dynamics. So for instance, are there ways that we can make the vaccines we have cheaper or better um, or more efficient? And we will have uh, grants in place. We're already working on those again to look at reformulation of the current OCVs that should have increased capacity but also reduced COGS um, that we hope will then benefit the community. Um, and again, we're working through multiple, uh, multiple partners on this, including the manufacturers that are a key partner um, and working with